Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. It is May 15th. Now, we just have one meeting to tell you about, and it's at 1.30 this afternoon in the boardroom. Now, on our show today, we sit down with Dr. Alan Beyer, who is with Hogue Orthopedic Institute, and of course, you know him as the host of Doctor in the Dugout. Then we talked to Beverly Genero at the Reform Temple of Laguna Woods. She will be talking about all of the events that are coming up in the next couple of months. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather. Well, we are looking at very uh, good skies, actually. We're looking at the upper 70s, 74, 57, 74, 59. Then we drop down to 72, 59, 72, 58, and 71, 58. Our sunrise this morning was at 5.50, and our sunset will be at 7.45. And here's another vacation spot I would love to visit is Jamaica. This is Montego Bay. So beautiful. I just love the water out there. All right, when we come back, we will sit down with Dr. Alan Byer. So stay tuned. My name is Rhonda Plains. I'm from Fullerton, California. I absolutely love Dr. V. I am very happy to drive from Fullerton to Laguna Woods. I was having an issue with my vision. There was strobe light going off in my eye. Dr. Vias was able to get me in to see him the next day. Once I met him and he diagnosed the problem with my eye, I felt very comfortable with him and yeah, I'm just really happy that I found him. Are you or someone you know facing financial challenges from unexpected emergency expenses? The Foundation of Laguna Woods Village can provide the temporary help you need. Meals on Wheels, Adult Day Services, Dental Services, Medical Alert Services, and Ambulance Contracts. Contact the Village Social Services at 949-597-4267 to see if you qualify. Neighbors Helping Neighbors, the mission of the Foundation of Laguna Woods Village. At Loberg Dental, we understand that life gets busy and making time to go to the dentist can be a challenge. But it's often difficult to find a dentist who's open during the evening hours or on the weekends. That's why we offer both. Whether it's a cavity that needs attention or you have broken or missing teeth, we are ready to help you get the care you need when it's convenient for you. Visit DrLoberg.com today to make an appointment and get your first exam and set of x-rays free without insurance. All great healthcare organizations care, but the best dare to reach higher. At Hogue, we lead with life-saving clinical trials and advanced therapies. Our world-renowned specialists innovate with state-of-the-art technologies like virtual reality and robotics. Hogue is the number one hospital in Orange County four years in a row. Now more than ever, your healthcare choices matter. Choose Hogue. Welcome back. Well, today I'm joined by Dr. Alan Beyer, otherwise known as Doctor in the Dugout. Well, welcome. Very nice to have you here on that side today. Nice to be here. Most of my appearances have been here, me interviewing some of our newer doctors in town. So it's exactly. nice to swap places. Well, we appreciate you coming in. I know you're very busy and there's a lot of things going on. And what we're going to talk about today is, you know, injuries and how we get those injuries by golf, tennis, pickleball, all sorts of things that they do here in the village. But before we do that, just give me a brief synopsis of, of yourself and how long you've been doing all this. It's been a long time. Uh, I'm a displaced New Yorker, as you can probably hear. I grew up in Queens, trained in the city in Manhattan at the Hospital for Joint Diseases. I came out here in 1981 to do my sports medicine fellowship with Dr. Curlin and Dr. Job up in LA. That was those are the sports medicine guys back then, mm -hmm. thinking I was gonna go back to New York and be a sports medicine doctor in New York. I mean, I'm a New Yorker, right? Yes. I was out here about four days and I realized there was no way I was going back to New York. <laughs> the weather got me. Yeah. And uh, I've been here in the same practice after I finished that fellowship, went into practice in Orange County, a small three-man practice. And uh, now over 40 years, we've grown it and we're 
24 providers and still growing and new locations and it's we've built a little bit of a machine down here in Orange County and it's yeah. been good for patient care good for orthopedic surgery and right. and, and just a uh, very very fulfilling exactly and that's why you said you're only going to be semi-retired at some point right right you know I always say that uh, I'll leave the office probably in a body bag someday you know? <laughs> that's how that'll happen well, patients and athletes um, all over uh, probably the country come to see you uh, for a variety of different uh, ailments. So let's talk about some of those things that uh, we do here in the village that can certainly cause a lot of issues. For instance, golf. Golf, well, we're a 365 day a year golf, except this last few months. We're usually right. a 365 day a year golf area. Um, and, you know, we take advantage of it. It's great to be outside. Even during COVID, the number of rounds of golf that were being played during COVID was up like 30% because it was the only thing you felt like you could do. You were outside, you weren't really close to other people, um, and you were getting some exercise and getting some fresh air, right. and that was all good. So golf is golf's a big plus, yeah. but by the same token, there are some things that one has to do to ensure their ability to keep playing golf on a regular basis without doing damage to themselves. And right. We see a lot of golf injuries. Most are overuse injuries, uh, or as people get a little bit older, put a few more birthdays on the, on the body. Uh, it's a lot of lack of stretching, you yeah. know, being tight. As we get older, stretching becomes more and more important. Mm -hmm. Strengthening becomes less and less important. Right. So I tell people as we get into our 50s, 60s, and beyond, that really spending a little bit of time stretching is an unbelievable aid to preventing injuries. And the best way to treat injuries is to not have them occur in the first place. Exactly, and, and someone that you interviewed that we all know, uh, Freddie Couples, uh, who plays golf here locally, and he, you know, he's avoided surgery. He, Freddie's a great guy. I've gotten to know Freddie pretty well over the years. Um, he was the speaker at the Hogue Classic this year at the breakfast, and I was the moderator. Mm -hmm. So I really got to spend an hour diving in, doing a deep dive with Freddie about his career and, and how he's, he's had chronic back problems ever since the 90s and has avoided having any kind of surgical intervention on his back, which I applaud. But Freddie is absolutely religious about doing his program to stay stretched, mm -hmm. to stay limber. And the other thing he does is he limits his schedule. You right. don't see him playing in as many tournaments as most of these senior guys who are out there grinding mm -hmm. every single week. Mm -hmm. Fred really limits his schedule to keep himself able to do it. Right. He avoids four-day tournaments as opposed to their three-day tournaments as right. much as he can. Mm -hmm. he, limit, he goes plays in all the majors, but yeah. doesn't schlep across the country every single week like these guys right. do. Right. And it's quality of life for him that's more important. Right. I think that he's won something like 15 times on the regular tour, about another... 15 times on the, on the Champions Tour, mm -hmm. he would have had double that number of wins if he yeah. didn't have his back issues. Exactly. But he's dealt with it well. He's, he changes the shoes he wears to accommodate it. Mm. He, and his swing is such a powerful swing, it's amazing that he has been able to avoid back surgery. You see a lot of these young players today, it's a different mindset. Mm -hmm. They have something go wrong with them and right away they want the instant fix. Mm -hmm. Isn't that today's generation? Mm -hmm. It sure is. So they want to have surgery that week so oh. they could be back to playing golf yeah. within four to six or eight weeks or whatever. Yeah. Freddie's taken the old school approach to it is, I'm just gonna back off and right. let it rest and let it heal and right. hopefully avoid surgical intervention. And he's done it successfully and yeah. my hat's off to him because he's really, really, he's a lot happier for that. Well, and I think that we could learn from that too because we have many people here who play golf on a regular basis and may say, you know what, I don't need a cart. I'd rather just walk, but maybe they should use the cart to alleviate some of that. I, I agree with that. A cart is a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. You know, golf was invented to be walked. And if you can walk golf, even if you can just walk nine holes and use a cart on the back okay, nine, there you go. great compromise strategy. Because the walking is good for your tempo, it's good for your pace, it's good for your cardio, okay. as opposed to just tooling around on that golf cart and rushing up to your next ball and rushing right into the shot. Mm -hmm. Walking really gives you a lot better tempo okay. to play golf. But that said, if a person has foot problems, neuropathy, ankle issues, some bad knee issues, and can't walk mm -hmm. nine or 18 holes, by all means, they're still getting the enjoyment by using a cart. Okay. So I tell people to do what they're comfortable with. 
Okay, perfect. Let's talk about tennis and pickleball. So pickleball is the latest craze, of course. So many people are, they're taking over the tennis courts to play pickleball these days. But there are similar situations happen with both those sports. They're very similar. I, I, I like to say that pickleball been very good to me. <laughs> um, we saw a huge increase in injuries when pickleball started to get really, really popular. Couple of reasons. Tennis players tended to be a little younger and in better shape. Tennis players tended to be a little bit more fanatical about their workouts and their preparation for tennis. They stretched a lot. They did all the right things. As people added a decade or two to their lives and started to play pickleball, they figured, oh, well, look how much smaller the court is. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about being as, as conditioned as I did with, with tennis. And that's actually a cause of a lot of the pickleball injuries. Mm. The tennis court is rather large. It's a large area for one to cover, right. especially in singles. The oh, pickleball yeah. court is much more compact. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. people will play pickleball and they'll be on this little tiny court and they think they can get to every single ball no matter where it is on the court. Right. Whereas in tennis, when somebody hit a good passing shot and you realize, I got no chance at that ball, you let it go. Right. You didn't strain to try to get to it. Mm -hmm. Pickleball is the exact opposite. Everybody thinks they can get to everything. <laughs> so they start reaching for things and stretching for things that they can't get to comfortably. And we see the Achilles tendon injuries. We see the forearm strains and elbow strains. And it's really part of it is the learning process of learning how to appropriately, appropriately play pickleball. Right. It's, you can't get to every shot. And believe it or not, strategy in pickleball is much more important almost to the casual player mm -hmm. than in tennis. Mm -hmm. You can play pickleball without moving a lot That's if right. you really know the strategy. Right. So it's opened up a whole new uh, avenue for people who don't get around as well, who aren't quite as fit as the typical tennis players, but it gives them the opportunity to get out there and compete. And that's yeah. what it's all about. Right. So so in terms of tennis and pickleball, stretching would also apply, right? Oh, gosh. I think that spending 15 minutes stretching before you play either of those sports, and that's true for golf, too, is, is just incredible. I give all this advice to people and I don't do it myself. You know, <laughs> I see a patient at 12 o'clock, I'm on the first tee at 12.20 and I haven't spent a second stretching, yeah. right? Um, I should listen to my own advice, but stretching is very, very important. Okay. I actually myself go to a, a place called Stretch Lab once a week oh. where, you know, a lot of people use trainers in the gym and stuff like that. I actually get stretched, passively stretched once a week and wow. I find that it's done wonders for improving my range of motion of my shoulders and my hips and other joints. It's something that people really should look into as we add eight, you know, years onto our age. Yeah. Now you were recently inducted into a Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's funny. It's with a, a couple of the, awards. The, the Toshiba, what used to be the Toshiba, which is now called the Hogue Classic, right. has been on for about 24 years. Um, I've participated in it all 24 years that it's oh, been wow. been a, a tournament. I've played in the pro am all 24 years. I've kind of been the medical director for some of the injuries that have come up during the tournament. So this year, uh, at the 24th uh, occurrence, when Jeff Purser, our tournament director, was mm -hmm. stepping down as tournament director, I was elected into the, the Hogue Classic Hall of Fame. Big honor. Most of the people in the Hall of Fame are golfers. Mm -hmm. not, and I'm not a golfer by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I mean pro golfers. And it was a, a nice recognition, and it was just nice to be, it's been great to be involved and raise money for Hogue through a great cause. The, the county, the city of Newport Beach really rallies around the tournament. Yeah. It's a great event. It's a great and event. And I'd encourage anybody who has any kind of interest in golf to attend the event because you just get closer to the golfers. The crowds aren't that big. It's names that you remember for the last 30 years right. that are playing. It's, it's a fabulous event, and it was a big honor. Well, congratulations. Thank and, you. And we appreciate you taking the time to go over all this with us. Well, it's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you. If you want more information about anything that we've discussed, you can always watch Dr. Alan Beyer on Doctor in the Dugout on Wednesdays at 3.30 and Sunday at 10.30, where Dr. Beyer interviews lots of different doctors about lots of different subjects. Or you can always get in touch with Hogue at hogueorthopedicinstitute.com. We'll be right back. Your body is made for work, 
play and adventure, all the things that make life amazing. But when pain gets in the way, turn to Hogue Orthopedic Institute to get you back to doing the things you love. At Hogue Orthopedic Institute, we're experts at getting you out of pain and back to golf, running, or yoga. Whatever makes you, you. The California Attorney General, Ron Bonta, issued a consumer alert on hearing aids sold over the counter or online. Quote, while hearing aids sold online or over the counter may appear to be more cost effective than traditional hearing aids, they may not properly address your particular hearing loss needs or they may be outright scams. He goes on to say, get checked by a licensed hearing professional and beware of misleading claims. Call Advanced Ear Care today for answers on over-the-counter hearing aids and options. Tell them Stuart sent you. Living and learning in Laguna Woods Village is a unique experience. For over 45 years, the Emeritus Institute has provided tuition-free college classes within your community. Join us to experience expert faculty, quality academics, and to make friends through the Emeritus Institute. New classes start every semester, and you can join nearly any time. Visit us anytime at saddleback.edu slash emeritus. Learn, live, and thrive with the Emeritus Institute. Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Beverly Genero of the Reformed Temple of Laguna Woods. Well, welcome, Beverly. How are you? Hi, Lisa. It's so good to be with you again. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time. And, you know, you guys always have lots of information and uh, something is happening that's right around the corner on May 16th. Um, May 16th is our book club. Yeah, and so that's, we, that's the first thing that's happening. However, you also have your your Friday Shabbat services, and you've got all sorts of different things going on. So you can start with whatever you'd like to start with. <laughs> okay, well, I, I can tell you about our book club. It's on May 16th, and they're going to do a book called Hell and Other Destinations. It's by Madeline Albright. Oh. So that's kind of exciting. It's going to be at our meeting on May 16th at 10 a.m., and uh, it's a memoir, and typical of Madeline Albright, it's blunt, witty, and very relevant. Okay. So all members are invited, and they can call Harriet Schwartz for more information on that. Our service on May 19th is going to be where the Reformed Temple is going to be recognizing something called Yom Yerushalayim, or Jerusalem Day, which is a holiday in Israel, a national holiday, and it's we're going to recognize it with prayers and songs, and it commemorates the reunification of East Jerusalem, uh, which includes the old city, with West Jerusalem, which followed the Six-Day War of 1967. And this is the first time that uh, Jerusalem was under Jewish rule since the expulsion of Jews under the, Romani uh, the Romans in 70 CE. So oh it's a pretty significant thing. And of course, under Israeli occupation, Jerusalem is welcome to everybody of any faith um, around the world. Have you been um, to Jerusalem? I have. Have you? No. Is it amazing? It is. I, I have to tell you, it is. And part of it is because it's such a multicultural, much multi-religion city. You see all kinds of um, interesting things, whether it be experiencing the architecture the food just seeing something that old and that historical yeah. it's it's magical it really is and i hope you get the opportunity to go there one of these days <laughs> <laughs> um our rabbi's lecture series is going to take place again on uh, three consecutive tuesdays at 12 30 p.m uh -huh. in clubhouse five multi-purpose room on may 23rd may 30th and june 6th and the theme for this uh, uh, series is going to be L'chaim, to life, to the end of life, to afterlife. Mm -hmm. And L'chaim, of course, is the word meaning uh, life in, in uh, Hebrew. Space is limited, so secure their you know, reservations by sending a check payable to RTLW. And that goes to Cheryl Beldner, 203 C Avenue, Mallorca. And that's in the amount of $18 for members and 25 members for not, uh, 
$25 for non-members. Mm -hmm. So that's something that uh, we're looking forward to. Also, this month, we're celebrating the holiday of Shavuot at our service on May 26th. And this is the anniversary of the day that God gave the Torah to the entire Israelite nation assembled at Mount Sinai. And one of the fun things about it is we eat dairy at this time to symbolize the land flowing with milk and honey and decorate our sanctuaries with spring foliage. Everyone's welcome to join us for this special celebration. And I know that you'll like this, Lisa. They're going to serve cheesecake and ice cream. <laughs> I and love keep, that. And keeping with the, I do too. I do too. <laughs> Any kind of cheesecake, I'm there. <laughs> um, and then, then, of course, the purpose of our con, uh, connections committee is to connect by phone calls with all temple members, to give resource information, answer questions about the temple, and especially check on the well being of our members. And uh, as you said, everyone's welcome to come to our services each Friday night, 730, Clubhouse One. Uh, current vaccinations are mandatory and masks are encouraged. Um, I do want to mention, because we had talked about our um, uh, Jewish food festival that we had last, earlier, I have to tell you, and of course, being on, on this day helps get the word out. But the response from the community was incredible. Oh, it, better than even in the past, which we've always been surprised at. Um, we had a lot more food, but it went. And it was um, really gratifying to see the response of the entire community, not just our members or the Jewish community, but all the community came out to enjoy our culture, our music, and our food. And that nice. felt really, really gratifying. Good, and good. I was going to ask you about that. I'm glad you <laughs> Glad you mentioned it, fantastic. <laughs> and finally, I just wanna say that um, to learn where to find anything that I've spoken about today, uh, all information of the events and activities, you can call our hot hotline or check our website, which can be accessed through the Laguna Woods Village web website under clubs. So we're hoping that you will take part in all of our activities. We'd like to see you there. Thank you so much, Beverly. It's always good to see you. And uh, I'm glad your food festival was a success and we look forward to the next one. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to see you in person next month. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> thanks Thank for, you. Thanks for having us, Lisa. Bye-bye. Right. And if you want more information about anything that we have discussed, of course, you can contact them at their hotline or go to lagunawoodsvillage.com under clubs for Form Temple of Laguna Wood. We'll be right back. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The thoughtfully redesigned 2023 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. With standard symmetrical all-wheel drive, plus up to 32 miles per gallon, a 260-horsepower turbocharged engine, advanced technology, and an extra-large touchscreen. The 2023 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Irvine Subaru. Buy online, just come in to sign. Get two years complimentary maintenance included on all new Subarus. Hi, remember us? We're back. Christine and Jack from the Jewelry Box. Which is now the Jewelry Box Estate Buyers. Relocated in a new spot in our old shopping center. But we're still Orange County's preeminent buyer of gold, jewelry, watches, and flatware. And we're still a full jewelry repair center. And with our three graduate gemologists, we're still here to appraise your special pieces. And like always, at the Jewelry Box Estate Buyers. It's about trust. At Laguna Woods Dental Care, our goal is to serve and provide dental services to the residents of Laguna Woods. Dr. Mosin Mahmood is currently specializing in senior dental care from USC Dental School and has been serving the Laguna Woods community for over 16 years. At Laguna Woods Dental, our top priority is your overall wellness, ensuring your current medications do not affect your oral health. We offer a convenient plan for $250 a year that includes exam, x-rays, and all types of cleanings are covered. Our office is located right outside of gate number three. Come book your appointment today. Our movie for today looks like a fun movie with Shirley MacLaine. It is called The Bliss of Mrs. Blossom. 
And you can check that out today at 2 p.m. with subtitles, 6 p.m. without subtitles, brought to you by Providence Mission Hospital. Now, just a couple of announcements. Uh, we've got the Club Expo that's happening, and that is going to be this Thursday on May 18th from 10 to 3 p.m. in Clubhouse 5. And then this weekend is very busy. On Saturday, May 20th, is the Renaissance Fair that Recreation and a whole bunch of other clubs that are putting on and participating in, and you're really going to enjoy it. It's from 11 to 3, May 20th at the Equestrian Center. Tickets are $10 at the door, and it includes a lot of great stuff. You can park at the upper parking lot and then take the shuttle down from 10.30 in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon. Then also we have the Memorial Golf Tournament that's happening also on Saturday, and all those proceeds that... Uh, our net proceeds from the tournament go to the foundation of Laguna Woods Village. If you want more information, go to www.lwmgc.org. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather. As I mentioned, we are in the 70s after, uh, you know, you burn off the, the morning fog, but it looks like we're looking at pretty good temperatures. 74, 57, 74, 59, 72, 59, 72, 58, and 71, 58. Have a great day in the village, and we'll be back here again tomorrow at 9 a.m. on Village Television. And, of course, if you would like to rewatch our program, you can always see it at 12.30 and 5, or go to our YouTube channel, Village Television. Bye-bye. Who is RadNet? You've probably heard our name and seen our commercials, but you still might not know who we are. RadNet is the largest provider of outpatient imaging services in the United States, with over 8,000 employees and almost 400 imaging centers in seven states. Likely, if you have had diagnostic imaging, you have experienced RadNet's high-quality, cost-effective imaging services. With 35 years of expertise, RadNet is leading into the future with advanced technology and the very latest AI technology. We are positioned for the future of healthcare. RadNet, leading radiology forward. happy to recommend Dr. Fairman. I've been going to her for nine years. She's done implants, crowns, bridges, root canals, and I've been happy with everything that she's done. The staff is so friendly and pleasant, kind, and gentle. I would recommend her to anyone. We are now fully open for all your dental needs and invite you to come in and experience the Breathing Smile difference. We are close to Gate 6 near Snooty Fox Restaurant behind Coco's.